around the campus and around the clock. This is Smoke Radio. Welcome back to another Wednesday evening with your girl Marlies on Smoke Radio. How you doing? It's nice to be in an environment that's so diverse and inclusive. I feel great about being a drag queen because it's 2019. I feel like diversity is cool. <laughs> Come on, dragons! What were your thoughts on the game itself? Uh, there's a number of topless men over there. It is lit. It's lit. Uh, I funny for all the f- time, okay? Don't make me feel insecure. <laughs> People are really helpful. Uh, if you go online, you can get people's credit card details. Student hack. <laughs> I love being a part of this uni. I want to leave y'all feeling lit. This is Smoke Radio. We're live at your Freshers' Fair 2018. We know that you missed us. I miss campus. I miss just being here and just getting way too lit. <laughs> Pop down to see us. But if you're too lazy to do that, then get in touch on our social media at Smoke underscore radio using the hashtag Smoke Launch 2018. Can you sum up your experience of Westminster so far in three words? Different, new and challenging. Chaotic, fun and thrilling. Pizza. People and music. I had the freshest week from hell. Uh, I realised this week that I accidentally paid my tuition fees instead of my rent. I mean, how, sorry, sorry. How did how did you do that exactly? Well, I thought I was paying my rent. I yeah. went onto the website and I filled in all the all the forms. Yeah, as you do. And then I got an email saying you haven't paid your rent. So yes. I went to reception and I was like, well, I have. So we'll go on. And <laughs> they were literally just like, uh, you paid your tuition fees. So I checked the receipt email. Turns out I paid tuition fees for a course I'm not even on. So what course was it you actually ended up paying for? Can I, can uh, I just ask? Digital creative design. I've never even heard of that course. <laughs> Neither have I, actually. Uh, we want to know your disaster stories of freshers. Any stories that you can think of that it's just been awful, let us know. Gabriel and I both kind of feel as if we've been slightly left out of freshers. So we're using this opportunity now in order to get Gabriel some friends. In a feature we're calling... Uh, Please be my friend in need. Hang on. Um, um, um. Hi, girls. I'm um, sorry. Um, basically, I feel like I haven't made enough friends and pressures. Oh, God. Can you all be my friend? Oh, cool. Uh, yes. There you go. We've made three friends, everybody. Well done to us. Smoke Radio's 24 hour broadcast for November. I think it's important to remember that men are also victims of, of sexual assault, you know, from personal experience in uh, gay nightclubs coming from an LGBT point of view. Um, you know, it's it's not unusual for men to inappropriately touch you thinking that it's invited. And while it's not something I've personally experienced to a degree where it's affected me, um, I do have friends who, um, you know, have had instances where they have been in uncomfortable situations that then has kind of have lived on in them and affected their their mental health and it's it's put them into a position where they then don't want to go out and, and do the things that they enjoy you know they no longer feel comfortable in what should be safe spaces I had a um, an event uh, during Black History Month um, talking about mental health within the black community and unfortunately it's still a topic which is not really being explored and understood mm-hmm. um, within the community in general we've got a mental health system that really does fail all the BME students and BME community just having that conversation was like yeah that's something we need to be working on here in Westminster when I lived at home I suffered quite badly with like really poor mental health like moving away from home it was about six to eight months before I made the decision that I wanted to move out that I decided something had to change. I decided to go back to college, uh, which kind of led me on the path to where I am now. Um, And that basically, on top of doing that, is I I changed my lifestyle for being healthier. So I started going to the gym more, started eating healthier. And it was just sort of like little positive changes that made a massive change in my life. Smoke Radio Podcasts. Being zapped directly to you across the strange reaches of the universe. Cosmic Marmalade Coming exclusively to your earthling ears on Smoke Radio Hey, this is the uh, dream interpretation segment of our show Where we'll be interpreting the dreams of our listeners First up is Barry from Sector Z Gordon, if you wouldn't mind reading this one out for me Absolutely 
I dreamt that I was in this giant abandoned building and had been kidnapped by these men. I think I was Gordon Ramsay at first. As time went on, it got more and more dangerous. I made my way to a boiler room where a giant killer dog came at me and I had to fight it. I could feel its head. I bent its head straight back until it snapped and put all of my strength into it. I hope to never go back there. Well, thank you, Barry, for that contribution. <laughs> That's wonderful. Welcome back to the Passion Fruit Podcast. Your modern day sex education. Ladies, we have a few stories from our listeners, actually. We do, um, don't Would we, you actually. like to listen to some? When I was about 20, 21, an ex-girlfriend of mine tried to spice things up a bit. And uh, she uh, brought a, a toothbrush into the room and uh, proceeded to use that toothbrush on me, put it in me eventually uh, later revealed that it was because her sister had borrowed a top without asking so she used her sister's toothbrush oh my oh, I don't even know oh. what to say about that That was Hold It by Shata Wale. Before that, we had a bit of Sarkodi with Adonai, with Castro as well. Castro was such an amazing Ghanaian artist as well. So big up to him. I'm from Ivory Coast, so this, these are my neighbours. These are my people. So shout out to Ghana and all my Ghanaians out there tuned in right now. I've got some more tunes lined up. Got some Calms and Flavour. Got some Darling Gage. Keep it smoke radio. I've got one of my favourite American songs by the one and only Cardi B. And so I want to leave y'all feeling like you're gonna hit the club. I hope you enjoy my Bodak Yellow. The loop. You can f with me if you wanted to. Hey! Yo, Smoke Radio, we in the building right now. It's your girl from Brum. I am joined by the one and only Cadet Hey! What's going on, man? So we briefly, very briefly touched on it earlier. Can we yeah. talk about closure? Of course. Now, obviously, I have listened to past interviews with you and yeah. talking about the fact of that your family and your friends hear it at the same time as your fans yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you, like, changed that now? Yeah, man. Like, I guess I'm such a... Such, like, I get so lost in my music. Or if I go for a scenario, music and writing bars is my vent. So, and I don't really talk to people about it, to be fair. I go counselling every yeah. Wednesday. So he's like, my counsellor knows everything. Yeah. But besides that, no one doesn't know anything. So they hear that they know the truth about a scenario or anything I'm going through the same time as, as the world does, man. This is Smoke Radio. Now, the London Fire Brigade are dealing with a huge fire. More than 200 firefighters tackling this it's blaze. In Grenfell apartment building. Just cover your mouth! We're, we're a town and cover your mouth for now! Oh my god, they're screaming! I had in there, we had some great, great moments and great, great years. Every day was summer, even on a bad day. Every day was summer. You know, we got used to that area and then all of a sudden this has changed. I'm protesting today because of the particularly uh, obnoxious and, and violent and, you know, savage nature of this new law that's been brought in, in you know, in Brunei. Um, and I'm aware of the fact that this is just the, the most awful example of what's happening to gays and lesbians and other LGBT people around the world. I can't help but ask the question, would Paige Keiki be as big as she is now if she came out before her music career took off. Mm. Yeah, maybe people wouldn't have taken to me. Yeah. Because I notice, I feel like it's a lot harder for like people in like gay gay artists to yeah. kind of make a, you know, to make a stand and make a name for themselves. Yeah. And I, I do believe just being pagey cakey and not telling anyone my sexuality did kind of help. I caught up with Dr. Karen Gurney to discuss if there were any mental and wellbeing benefits to having a cheeky wank. Masturbation is generally seen as something which is really good for your sex life for several reasons. It's an act of self-care, it's a way of enjoying your sexuality without pressure from anyone else. There's actually only positive benefits that come from it. International Women's Day. 
I'm Kaylee Golden, and today we have some amazing ladies on the panel. We've got Pippa Taylor, who's an executive producer for Chris Moulds' breakfast show on Radio X. We'll also have Tilani Shanai, who's a freelance journalist and also one of the three of the girls from the Receipts podcast. We'll also have Fiona Highland, who is a talent producer for BBC Sounds. And finally, Rio Fredrika, who presents for CBBC and Capital FM's Weekender. All amazing talent, and we cannot wait to hear from them. I think the media industry is one of the few industries that like it is packed to be a woman in. I mean, of course, it's still owned by old white men, but no one lives forever. <laughs> like being in it and getting your space and owning your space you can do that luckily and it's like it's an industry that's very aware of how powerful a woman's voice is if you're not accepted for a role that you go for don't think of it as in that's anything to do with being a woman just think oh forget that let's just go on to the next thing learn from it and go on to the next thing for those late night library sessions smoke radio lovely the band how are we guys what's hey, up how's it, going? how's it going doing well <laughs> yeah, I've, read, I've read a bit about you guys and you obviously said that the story of how you formed isn't cool if you don't think that's a cool story let's create one now okay love it i was at an amusement park i'm just gonna roll out i was at an amusement park and i was um i went alone because i just i didn't have a lot of friends at the time and i went still and, and i still don't and i went and i sat in the front of the roller coaster so i'm i'm going on the roller coaster i'm i'm feeling this loop right and i need a hand to hold on to <laughs> And I reach over, and this wonderful man grabs my hand, and we lock eyes in the middle of the loop, and he asked me if he wanted to start a band with me. So I am with the lovely Jack Williams from Wild Front. He is on the phone with me. Hi, Jack. How are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How's it going? Yeah, really well. So, did any of you guys go to uni? Uh, yeah. Two of us. So Josh Drummer went to uni in Cardiff, and then I went down to... Um, Bim in Brighton did a, did a couple years there. What is your like go-to student dinner? Um, I actually really like putting marmite on the toast. Toast has to be quite well done. Marmite on the toast, beans on top, cheese. Smoke Radio live from National Student Pride. Hello, National Student Pride 2019. We are live on Smoke Radio and here from the Marleybone campus. I'm here with Something Wong and Tea and Coffee, both drag queens. It's really lovely that stuff like this exists now. Yeah. You can like wave your pride flag high you see, around at, the university. Yeah, like at uni when I was there, like there was absolutely nothing like this. So like it's nice to see people be represented now. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Selena in the chat bar. I'm going to start off with a cover for you, this is one dance by Drew. Baby, I like your style. Westminster is lit. It's such a creative place. We are Westminster Smoke Radio. A great track to start this week's show. That was Antisocial, the brand new track from While She Sleeps. Hello and welcome to Heavy Smoke. My name is Alex Irons. I'm here all the way until 11 o'clock, bringing you the very latest in heavy music in general. We've got brand new music from Slipknot. We've got brand new architects. We've also got some new music coming up from the guys in Fractured and Whitechapel as well. ABC there by the Jackson 5 on Smoke Radio. This is Ryan Branning on the Back in Time show once again. We've got a lot of good music coming up for you on the show And especially next up we've got a brilliant song from Cher One thing that Cher really integrated into her music later on was auto-tune There's one song in particular that it really does work for Cher And this is one of her biggest hits from the 90s This is Believe by Cher on Smoke Radio Smoke Radio We're kicking off the event here with the basketball, women's basketball to be precise, and at the moment, the West London Warriors are currently in the lead. Uh, he's got the, uh, he wins the award for the most colourful shoes. Okay, we're not, Gabriel, we don't concentrate on the shoes. Why? Because it's a football game, we concentrate about the ball going into the back of the net. Yes, but you know one of the words in football is foot, therefore we should concentrate <laughs> on their feet as well as the ball. No, Gabriel. I love being a part of this uni. I've met the best mates here. It's so vibrant. There's so much to do in London. We, we are Westminster. Westminster. Westminster Student Sound. Smoke Radio. 